What up, what up? Welcome to the Hot Button. I'm your host, Isaac Lane, and we have another breaking news free agent signing in the NFL. Former Tennessee Titan Corey Davis is no longer a Tennessee Titan. He hit the free agency market and he signs a three year, $37 million deal with the New York Jets. Just in case you don't know who Corey Davis is, he is a former Western Michigan wide receiver who absolutely balled, absolutely balled at Western Michigan. He actually, when he left college, he held the FBS wide receiver receiving record as far as yardage. He can play. He's a baller. Uh, Some would argue that he somewhat underachieved his first few years. Um, in a Tennessee Titan uniform. But last year, the 2020 season was his breakout year. He pulled in over 60 catches, actually 65 catches and almost a thousand yards, only five touchdowns. But he is a baller. He can stretch the field. He can be a possession wide receiver if need be. He is physical and he can get the job done. This is a great signing for the New York football Jets. But there is an outstanding question. And that question generates from the fact that Corey Davis was not called upon or asked to do much while he was at the Tennessee Titans. He wasn't asked to do much because they have a guy named Derrick Henry. And it could be argued that if they gave him the ball a little more, they probably would have won more games. But when his number was called, he showed up and showed out especially in the 2020 season, especially last season. So the outstanding question is, how will Corey Davis respond when he is called upon to be the hero of a football franchise? He will be called upon to make game-saving, game-winning, and game-ending plays for the New York football Jets. How he, how will he respond when he is double-teamed? How will he respond when the defense is game planning around him i honestly think he's up for the challenge now the question is what do you do in the draft if you're the jets if you're the jets just let's just look at their first round pick they have the second pick of the draft if you're the jets for this 2021 draft you have a lot of issues you 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 got issues at cornerback you got issues at edge rushers you got issues with interior defensive linemen but most of all you got to answer that question with your quarterback now you have sam Darnold. I don't think he's horrible. He's solid. But to me, he doesn't check all of the boxes to be considered a franchise quarterback. So if I'm the Jets, if I'm grabbing Corey Davis, you have to pick a quarterback with the number two pick. Some say it's Justin Fields. I believe that the pick should be Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson has been called is being called a film junkie. Uh, He is uh, being called someone who is a football nerd. To me, he checks all the boxes for a franchise quarterback, especially if you are the New York football Jets. Let me know in the comments section. All my Jets fans, how do you like this signing? Is Corey Davis uh, going to be uh, what you need him to be to hopefully get you guys at 500 or even sneak into the playoffs? Is he the receiver for the future? And do the New York football Jets go defense or do they go quarterback with the second pick of the 2021 draft?